semiconductor lithography, also known as photolithography, is the technique most often used to write the patterns that make up the light-sensitive material called photoresis that is placed on top of a silicon polymer too. To construct a circuit consisting of, of millions of transistors, lithography processes and engraving pattern steps are repeated up to 20 to 30 times to print and align each pattern layer on top of the previously placed printed patterns. This process serves to connect and isolate various components of materials, including conductors such as aluminum, polysilicon, as well as insulators, such as silicon dioxide, silicon nitrite and several others. The selective doping of various regions of silicon produces a variable conductivity of the material that depends on the applied voltage. The photolithography process is widely used in the creation of various types of electronic devices, including smartphones, tablet devices and more. As a process that is available to the large-scale pattern of electronic circuits, which can be produced efficiently and reliably, Photolithography processes have significantly reduced the cost of the modern smartphone as a result too. As impressive as it seems, the selective applicability of this technique to only a few materials and the continuous development of new electronic materials, especially the non-materials, points to the search for an alternative to the lithography technique 1. As a result of their nanometric size, the non-materials exhibit unique properties that lack their bulk materials. Despite its exceptional range of properties and potential benefits in its applications, the fabrication of electronic devices based on these nanomaterials has been very difficult due to the lack of suitable techniques available for their manufacture, as well as a number of compatibility between different nanomaterials. 